This tutorial is to discuss about a Python program to generate a Fibonacci series. A Fibonacci series starts with a value 0 and the next value 1. The each successor value of a Fibonacci series will be the sum of the two previous values. That means the third value will be the sum of second and first. Similarly, the fourth value in the Fibonacci series will be the sum of third and second. Similarly, it goes on. Two variables a and b is used to show the first two Fibonacci numbers which are 0 and 1. A variable n is used to represent how many number of Fibonacci series to be generated. And the value of n will be accepted from the user by using the input method. By using an if statement, the value of n is compared. If the value of n is less than or equal to 0, that means it is a negative number or a 0, there is no value to be printed for Fibonacci series. So we print the value that it is not possible for us to print the Fibonacci series. In the else if statement of the next block, we check the conditions that the value of n is equal to 1. So if the value of n is equal to 1, only the first Fibonacci number to be printed which is a. Else, if the value of n is greater than or equal to 2, we first print the first two Fibonacci numbers a and b. In the first print statement, we have used two placeholder, two blocks of curly braces. The first block of curly braces will be replaced by the value of a and the second block of curly braces will get replaced by the value of b. And the end statement within the print indicates that after printing a particular string, the cursor don't go to the next line. If the end is not mentioned, the print statement always ends with a new line character, which is slash n. If you don't want the slash n, if the statement should not go to the next statement, then an end keyword can be used and we can represent what character should come. So we have specified a null character. So after printing the first print statement, the cursor goes to the won't go to the next line. To print the remaining sequence of Fibonacci series, a for loop is used. Within the for loop, the index variable i is used, and i takes the value from two to n minus one, which is used to repeat. The remaining set of Fibonacci numbers, suppose we enter the value as 5. The first two Fibonacci numbers are printed which is A and B. The remaining numbers, three numbers have to be generated. So the loop will get repeated for three times because the range will take the value 2, 3 and 4. That means the for loop will get repeated for three times. Inside the for loop, the new Fibonacci number has been calculated, which is C is equal to sum of the two previous Fibonacci numbers, which are A plus B. And the value of C also gets printed. Once the value of C gets printed, the value of A and B will take the new leftmost Fibonacci numbers, which are generated. So A takes the value as B and B takes the value as C. Because once we have calculated C as a new Fibonacci number, the last Fibonacci numbers, which was previously B, now it will take the value of C. And similarly A takes the value of B and the for loop will keep on repeating so that the new set of Fibonacci numbers will keep on get generated until the for loop get completed.
execute and see the program output. 